Pony Pals, it's Emma from Paint Pony Studios, and today is the start of a tutorial video for you guys. Um, it was requested of me via our Instagram, so if you don't follow that already, it's Paint Pony Studios. Um, it was requested of me to do some tutorial videos for you guys on YouTube uh, of horse colors that you want to see how I paint them. Paint them. So I put up a couple models and like, oh, you know, what, what do you want to see in bay? What do you want to see in chestnut? What do you want to see in black? And you guys told me what you want to see in what colors. So today we are going to go ahead and start with a tutorial on how I paint a black horse. Um, so this is going to be a blue black, the kind that I absolutely love to do. It's my favorite kind. Um, I've done a couple horses in it for myself which is really fun. And then I've done a couple for, for sale. Um, so this particular horse, when he is finished, will be a sales piece. So make sure you watch on our website and our Facebook page and our Instagram that this horse in particular that I use, that I make in this tutorial will be going up for sale uh, shortly after the tutorial is finished, by the way. So by the time this airs, may or may not be too late to jump in on this guy, but we will get there. So anyway, um, it was requested of me to make these tutorials and one of the things I asked of you was, do you want to see my whole ideation process or do you want to just see the painting? Um, and overwhelmingly, y'all said that you want to see the process behind how I actually go about making and like designing these horses. So before I start painting, we are going to go and jump onto the computer and I'm going to do a quick mock-up of what I would like to do exactly with this Vallegro. So, here we go. Okay, so the first thing I do when I'm starting on a custom, um, a lot of the times is I will go in and I will make a really, really quick line art in Clip Studio. This is where I do all of my illustration. So I'll go and make a really quick line art based on um, a picture of Briar's model and or you know whoever's base I'm using, whether it's a Briar or a Peter Stone, um, an artist resin, I will go in and make a, a quick line art just something really, really sketchy enough that I can work from it easily, but I also need it clear enough that I know exactly what I'm putting where. And then I'm going to color it for you guys. So that is what you're going to see here. And I will go ahead and get this over as quickly as possible for y'all to, to make sure that we can get on to the painting part. Okay, so now that I've got a really, really quick mock-up, um, this is what I, in general, want uh, our Vallegro to look like. I'm going with a big star and a snip, and then four, two tiny socks, two big stockings um, with some ermine spots, um, and a very nice blue, black, purple color, and then I'll probably go over the top with some interference to bring out those under layers. But in general, this is what I want to end up with. Um, and like I said, this is super rough, just basically a mock-up for me to um, be able to figure out what I am painting and where and have a general idea. So now we're gonna go ahead and get right into painting. Okay, so like you just saw in my mock-up, I kind of did a little bit of a blue-purple color scheme underneath this black coat. Um, so I just pulled out the paints that I'm going to use in this tutorial. Um, I use Comart paint. This is by Iwata, so it's actually the same brand as my airbrush. Love this stuff. Comes in so many different colors. Really, really cool colors. So if you're looking for airbrush paint, I know a lot of people recommend Golden. I've actually never used it. Uh, maybe sometime I will actually do a video of me trying out some different airbrush paints. Uh, but for now, I use 
Comart by Iwata. And recently I've actually been mixing in some Pearl X pigments. So here is um, the Pearl X that we'll be using today, which is sky blue. And you, a little goes a long way. Um, so there is quite a bit in here um, to make it a very, very pearly blue, which I will be showing to you guys shortly. And then the other thing I'm going to use, I have a basic violet from Comart, but more along the lines of the of mixing in some Pearl X, I have taken some airbrush medium, which this is actually golden airbrush medium here. So this is just like a colorless airbrush medium. You can use it to thin paint or you can use it to make your own paint with pigments, which is what I am doing here. So these I have, I have marked, there's, we have interference blue and pinky blue, which actually I'm going to be looking for. Interference blue, oops. Interference purple, interference blue. These are what I'm going to be using on top of black. So blue and purple are going to be our base coats underneath. I'm going to paint the whole thing in purple or the whole thing in blue, shade with purple. Go black over top, and then add our interference blue and purple over top of that. And I'll make sure to go in and show you guys the steps one by one, whether I have to stop the camera and explain, or stop the, stop painting and explain to you guys what I'm doing. Um, but while I'm actually painting, I'm going to speed things up a little bit so this tutorial isn't super duper long. But in the meantime, hang tight, and we are gonna go get started on painting Vallegro in a lovely blue-black.
All right, so it may be hard to see on camera, but he has a lot of really nice blue and purple undertones. Um, if you tilt him around in the light, you'll be able to see in person all the blue and the purple. But just so that we get that effect on camera, I'm gonna go back with my interference colors and we're going to go over top and he's going to get a nice interference blue purple look. But I'm really loving how he's looking right now. He is so pretty. Vallegro looks amazing in black. But just to make sure that you can see all the tones that I put into them uh, underneath, I'm going to go back and accentuate with our interference colors. Okay, so once again, hard to see on camera, but when I get some actually better pictures and I'm able to take him kind of outside and video, I will show you guys what he looks like a little bit better. But he is not flat black, and the more I turn him around, the better you guys can see that. Um, the interference colors are certainly working really hard, uh, plus he has a lot of purple and blue undertones from all that shading that we did. But now it's going to be time to clear spray him. So I'm going to take him out in the garage, clear spray him. I'm going to leave him out there for a little while because I don't want that smell in here. I don't spray any sort of clear in my actual studio. It's just the airbrush paint, which I have a fan to push that away for me and a window open to make sure that goes out. Also my respirator to make sure I'm not breathing any of it in. But we're going to go outside and spray the sky and then I can start working on white markings. Okay, so I have clear sprayed this guy, and actually you can kind of see now better the purple and blue in him. See how when you tell him, he's actually got some shading to him. Um, but we're going to go ahead and work on white markings. So he's already been clear sprayed multiple times, and I'm going to start mapping things out. So I use a chalk pencil or even a white charcoal pencil if you can find them. I couldn't find white charcoal pencils this time, um, unfortunately, uh, but I am using a chalk one and it works just as good. But seeing as this guy's only getting a face marking and leg markings, I really don't have to do the leg markings. Um, we already mapped out a pretty basic idea with the airbrush shading, so I'm going to leave that the way it is. But as far as his face goes, I'm going to draw his face marking on and then go ahead and start painting it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on painting the white markings now that we've got everything mapped in. So I use Liquitex acrylic paint, um, and this is just the regular heavy body acrylic, but then I thin it with golden airbrush medium. I believe Liquitex has their own airbrush medium, but I mixing brand is, brands is just because that's what happens when you have a small craft store in your town and you can only get certain items from there. But anyway, I'm going to put this, just a little dab of this, into my palette here, which also, by the way, um, just cheap plastic palette. You can use other things for palettes too, if you have like lids of certain containers or that kind of thing. But I'm going to put a little bit into my palette, shake that up a little bit. And then I only want a few drops of this. I don't want it to be too liquidy, like mine did. So I'm just going to do a few drops of the airbrush medium. Then I'm gonna mix this. I'm 
I like my consistency of paint a little bit thicker for the first couple layers and then eventually I'll go thinner and thinner. Um, but I know sometimes my mixture of paint is a little bit thicker than most other people's. Let me reach around and grab our boy here. So I'm going to start on his socks simply because that's going to be the easiest. Okay, so I've got white markings all done, face, legs, and then I even added his eye whites in there so that I can go back and put the base color down for the eye. I have a couple touch-ups to do. He's got a little bit too much purple on his ear, and then I also have to um, do his nostril, but I'm going to go ahead and paint up his mane, tail, and hooves. Okay, so now I'm at the point where I am all done with the white markings. I'll grab said horse. So as you guys can see, I have done the, the hooves, the white markings, and then I also put a base down for the eyes as well as doing the mane and tail. Um, so all that was just brush painted on, um, thinned acrylics as usual. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to do the eyes, which I'll show you guys what paints I actually mix up to do the eyes. Um, I'm going to give, let's see, I think I'm gonna give this guy blue eyes. Um, so I will go ahead and mix up some blue paint so you guys can see what that looks like. And then we are almost done. All right, everybody, so our black horse is done. He has his pinking and his lovely blue eyes, hooves, everything. The only thing I have left to do is I'm debating on whether or not I actually want to leave him on a black base or if I'm going to marble said base. But that is how you paint a black briar horse, a nice blue black. And make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!